Hi guys, this is Rogue Sims 87. Welcome to my video on the Tokyo Murray Half Jam issue. Specifically, we'll be talking about the Barrel Tilt issue. So first, uh, let's talk about what the Half Jam issue is and why am I specifically talking about one cause, okay? Um, the, so basically, the Half Jam issue is whenever you plug a magazine to your Glock uh, racket and then your slide gets caught in the half position. So basically, it's sort of like this. It gets caught like this, okay? Uh, the other version of this is that when you fire your gun a couple of times, uh, you can fire it on your very first shot and you'll get jammed up like this. Or you can fire it a couple of times and then it gets jammed up like this, okay? I treat each of those cases as the half jam issue, okay? That is what it is. It's a very, very... I, I, um, I personally think it's a very rare issue for the Glock. Uh, it doesn't occur to me very often. When it does occur to me, I, I don't think too much about it, really. Um, there is a method to solve it. Uh, but the most important thing that you have to understand here is that there are many, many different things that can actually cause this issue, okay? And in this video, I'll only be talking about one of them, okay? If you have other issues, I will be making separate videos for those. Um, it's because the solution and the causes are a little bit complicated to explain. So as I mentioned earlier, one of the problems that can cause the half jam issue is the barrel tilt. The barrel tilt is basically looks like looks like this, okay? So uh, again, it can... this. Uh, issue can occur to you when you're racking your slide manually when you fire a pistol, okay? It can happen both ways. Uh, and most of the time it happens when you're actually firing a pistol. So basically, when you have your Glock, uh, imagine uh, if you have your Glock in front of you right now, and if you have a jamming issue, the very first thing that you have to figure out for yourself is that you have to identify if it's in fact the barrel tilt issue, okay? If it's not the barrel tilt issue, that means you have a different issue that causes your slide to jam, okay? So first thing, I'm going to teach you how to identify it, okay? So let me, let me just show you first. So the barrel tilt issue looks something like this. It's basically when your barrel tilt is too high and it basically causes uh, a lot of friction between your slide and your barrel, okay? And that basically causes your slide to lock up like this. You notice I'm not holding the slide. Okay, sorry. You notice I'm not holding the slide, but it's, uh, but you know, it's jammed up. The second I let go, it goes forward. That's how you can visually see it and understand it for yourself. Now, how do you identify it? How do you diagnose it in your own gun? Now, if you're holding your Glock right now, fire it, fire it, and get your Glock to jam up, okay? Now, after your Glock jams up, take your magazine out very slowly and tap the outer barrel. When you tap the outer barrel, your slide should just do this. It should just shoot forward, okay? If it shoots forward like that, that's how you 100% confirm the view for yourself that you have the barrel tilt issue. So before we move on to explain to you guys uh, how you actually solve this, how you actually fix it, uh, the, sim the fix is actually very, very easy. But the most important thing that you have to understand is why it happens, okay? So it happens primarily with uh, aftermarket slides that don't spec the outer barrel too well. Uh, sometimes they make that little notch that creates the barrel tilt a little bit too much. Sometimes you can also create this issue for yourself. Now what I mean by that is that if you play around with your Glocks a lot, if you switch out the frames a lot, if you sand down your railings a lot, sometimes you can mess with the height uh, and how it contacts with your outer barrel. So basically, you can even sometimes so you can sometimes create this issue, make it worse. Um, mo mo in my personal experience, it doesn't happen very often, okay? But it does happen. So uh, let us show you guys the solution. It's very very simple. Okay, so basically how you solve this issue is like this. So basically you see your barrel right here. The primary method that I use to solve this is basically right over... Let me grab something sharp. Here. Okay. So basically uh, what happens is that normally over here on this area, there used to be something over here like a bump, like a diagonal bump like that. Notice that I completely flattened that out with a with a file. Okay. Now, what this basically does is that um, it completely removes the the tilt effect, so it basically uh, allows it to drop and sits in a lower position, and allows your slide to move and glide over it. Okay. You will also notice that when you do this modification to your Glock, that there will be less your barrel will wear out less. Um, if your barrel is not very worn, you will notice that it wears out a little bit less. Okay. The second thing that you can also do, uh, that you can also do on top of this, okay, um, make sure you do this first. This is the probably the, if you file this off, okay, that should solve the problem 
relatively instantly. Like sort like normally that's the one ish thing that can cause it. Now if it still hasn't fixed it yet, if you're still having the half jam issue sometimes, um, what you can also do is increase the slope over here. Just take a foul and just foul that a little bit, okay? Now, my tip to you is that do this, uh, just make this area completely flat, but for this area, just do it little bit by little bit. You don't want to do too much. The reason why, because if you do too much, basically what happens is that you'll find that your barrel will wobble a little bit more than usual, okay? Um, this is the reason why when you see mine, I only sanded it by very, very little. I only did it like one stroke, two stroke, and then I tested it. One stroke, two stroke, and then I tested it, okay? Alright okay, guys, so that's uh, basically all I have to say for the barrel tilt issue, okay? That is one of the things that can cause your slide to jam up halfway, okay? Um, I will be making a separate video for all the other things I can call the half, half jam issue, but before I do that, um, I wanted to note, note a couple of things for you guys. Uh, all the kits that I've had that encountered this problem is Garter, um, the, apparently the new Ace One Arms. I've encountered it a couple of times, but I wasn't the guy who fixed it, um, so I can't quite quote that quote you guys on the ace one arms the new ones by the way um i don't have that much experience with it because i've never bought one i've never owned anything from ace one arms okay uh my detonator bowie tactical slide this one this one had that barrel to the shoe i solved that already uh and one of my more recent ones is my tokyo marie glock 18c with the nebula zeftech siren circle rmr slide Okay, uh, this slide actually had the barrel tilt issue. I actually demonstrated that issue for you very clearly. Okay, so if you haven't watched that video, uh, do check it out. I believe it was the last issue that I mentioned that is associated with this slide. Okay, other than that, that's pretty much all I have to say in this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video helped you. Uh, please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. I also have a Facebook page that you can follow me on. Peace, guys. Happy shooting.